Hey everyone, Astronaut98 here. Today we are launching a Sojourner 1 replica mission in Kerbal Space Program from Season 3 of For All Mankind. Now, I'm pretty sure the vehicle in the trailer that we see, that is possibly Sojourner 1, has heat shield tiles because it is also an SSTO. I figured I should try and replicate this, and lo and behold I have. It is not a very good SSTO, similar to how the uh, Pathfinder SSTO wasn't that good of an SSTO in of itself. However, it will work as an SSTO. I would recommend adding some parachutes if you're going to try and land back in the atmosphere. But I'm pretty sure I intend to never let this thing touch another atmosphere again, except for maybe Dunas. Now, thank you very much to the guy in the comments who pointed out that this mission would probably be called Sojourner 1. Now, I totally missed that, and thank him very much for me in the comments. So, once you break yourself into a nice little parking orbit, you can then line yourself up for a rendezvous with the gas station. Now, just fill yourself up about halfway, and move as much fuel to the back as possible. So, I don't know if they are landing at Jamestown or not in the show, but it seems highly likely considering that's where all the uh, equipment is stationed with which to generate fuel. Now, I decided not to because I modified this thing to have an ISRU for the Duna part of the mission. Now, in the trailer, Ed mentions that th this uh, fuel might be the future of manned colonization of the solar system. What fuel is he talking about? Is he on the moon and he's talking about helium-3? Or is he talking about methane on Mars? But if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell so that way you know when the next video is done and ready for consumption. Now, having coasted all the way to the moon, you then light up the nuclear engines to slow yourself down. You're thinking, wait, aren't those the uh, giant, basically, F1 engines before they were repainted? Yes, you are correct. But behold, the opening of the belly bay doors to reveal the repulsive landing thrusters. So, this vehicle is nuclear and liquid fuel oxidizer powered. I did clip some engines. I'm learning to clip some engines. It's something I'm not very comfortable with, mainly because I don't like the way it looks. But for this one, I deemed it pretty much necessary to get the right shape, look, and every overall design. Here we go. Perfect touchdown. So, having fully landed, deployed the drills, and generated enough fuel for liftoff, we then lift off and begin heading for Duna. Stay tuned for that video sometime soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I release a new video every week for your viewing pleasure. I am the Astronaut. Let's fly.